have a visitor. Join me as I service the previous cars I built here. How? Because Devon can love you. Morning. Morning. I am back in Singapore once again. Early morning in Singapore. We're, ne we're never up this early yet. <laughs> I don't think it was that early. It's like 11. <laughs> it's like 10.30. Well, you, we usually wake up around what? Anyway, the agenda for this trip is a Tesla Model 3. Yeah, you're bagging your first Tesla. Yeah, I am bagging my first Tesla, dude. And it's going to be uh, very scary, actually. I'm actually afraid. You are? Yeah, I'm a bit I'm a bit intimidated by the Tesla. First, the, the interior is too tacky for me to fuck up. <laughs> so we have to be careful. Interior panels. The suspensions upon inspection is actually pretty simple. But we that's always the famous last words, right? So those are the things that I'm Definitely worried about. <laughs> You'll see me later, like, oh yeah, I, I just, I just, I just done one side. <laughs> Hopefully the struts will fit properly. It's a popular model, Model Three, so chances are the compatibility is 100%. So a lot of my, a lot of, a lot of clients order those struts from my manufacturer, and they just have to whip it out the spec to my spec, the air struts itself. So. First Model 3, first Tesla. Uh, goal is to take it slow, nice and steady. We'll see the car in a bit. I haven't. I saw the car already from last trip, but that's going to be the initial inspection only. For now, we're driving this lovely 124. To the owner, you have a very nice 124. It's a boat. We're, sh we're basically sailing to work. Yeah. See? You never see this in the Philippines. <laughs> this and everything clapped out. Anyway, let's drive. All right, back at Conkers. Nathan, say hi. How are you, brother? So, off camera, I went ahead and laid out everything and double checked everything. So, Nathan's gonna take some photos. Let's talk Tesla. Tesla Model 3 wrapped on all ends, going for faint. I dismantled everything already on the undercarriage, on the backside rather. And I have extracted the tub right here. I moved all the personal items off camera a while ago. And then as, as I told you a while ago as well, I want to take it slow. It's first car and look at this. I'm such a Tesla noob. This is the fucking key. I'm like, what the fuck? You opened the, you opened the car with a key card. So, yeah, lots of new things about this car. Hey, sorry guys. It's my first time seeing a Tesla, working on a Tesla as well. So, yes, I live under a rock. I blame the Philippine market for that. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna skip into a time lapse later. And we're gonna install our good old fitment engineering kit. We have the faint struts here. We are going full faint strut, and of course, we have the fields management system here. Okay. It's gonna be a fun, exciting build, okay? I have to remind myself, the goal is to build slowly. But I'm very optimistic that I'll be probably done with the under chassis today. And then tomorrow will be electrical system. And probably Monday will be just like clean up, tie up. The best pace is three days. I wouldn't mind doing it for four days, but let's see. I'm, I'm staying here for six days anyway, so we have plenty, plenty time to chillax. The reason why we want to do that is we don't want to make a mistake. Trust but verify every movement. Anyway, the video is four minutes already. Let's start the build. First hiccup of the day, holy shit. We have to shut out, but we have one problem. So this is a 13 millimeter, okay? It does not fit the hole. The 12 millimeter fits the hole, but doesn't fit the nut. It doesn't fit the hole. 
so we'll have to grind this out. I did have a permission for it, but I don't want to do this. Angle grinder time. All right, we are done on the front. So I just have to do it on the other side, and then I can move to the back side, the rear side. But I already took some pictures. This is the max. This is the max lift as of now. I don't want to go lower than this because the client needs lift, he said, more than drop for now. But I'm pretty sure he's going to go lower. This is the max drop. It's still a bit high in my taste, but uh, that's, that's what the lifter can give. So it may go lower. It may go lower because I'm just jacking it with a jack on the lift and it's already lifting up. See? Anyway, I'm going to do the rears or the other side quick. But the next time you see me in this video, I'll be working on the rear side already. I don't want to time lapse the other side, it's just going to be the same thing. So I'll probably be filming when the sun's down. For now, I'm going to let the camera rest and I'll do the other side. See you in a bit. So today, we have a very special video for you. Well, we are in Kong Ho, Singapore, our workshop. And today we have with us Hal from Fitment Engineering. Hello guys. This is our first build together yeah. properly yeah. because this is the first of our customers Correct. that we are begging. Yeah, congratulations. And yeah, yeah. This, is, this is pretty cool because and we have already done about what eight builds in yeah. Singapore. So far, yeah. This is number nine. Yeah, about most likely. Nine. Yeah. So this is pretty special. Mm -hmm. um, this is our first sale under the course for the Fitment Engineering Air Suspension. Mm -hmm. And today will be Kyle's first ever Tesla build. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it should be simple. It's still a car, but there are things that we don't know, so we take it slow this time. We usually blitz the installation because we already know the cars that we built before. Yeah. But for this time, it's going to be a nice pace. We'll do it slow and nice, do it proper, clean everything, you know, the way we like it to do it here. You yeah. know? So Congratulations to everyone, you know. Yeah. <laughs> also the, to the owner, welcome to Conker's, you know, bagged or air so suspension build. So this is a brand new Tesla Model 3. Yeah, it is. This came fresh from the factory mm -hmm. a year ago, less mm -hmm. than a year ago. And the owner has done a bit of things to the car already, but he hasn't been happy with his current Olin setup. Mm -hmm. The Olin setup is actually a really expensive suspension. Mm -hmm. uh, it has the Olin DFB. Yeah, um, dual flow valve. Yeah. yeah. So for the owner to want to swap out of his Olin suspension, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty big for us. Mm -hmm. Like, he wanted to put on the Fitment Engineering Air Suspension after testing it out mm -hmm. on our A6 mm -hmm. and it was very impressed with product. So today we're here to bang this uh, model. Alright, update. Surprisingly, the bags are in and the shocks. It's not a, it's not a difficult install. Maybe because the car is brand new. I don't know. I was able to pull these two bolts with ease. Usually, it's really bad. But the suspension is very reminiscent of a Lexus or a Ford Mustang or a Camaro. So far, this car is actually easy to work on. So, we're gonna test the tires, the drop. After that, we can do the other side and we're done for the under chassis. We have a visitor, Imran. So Imran is the owner of the A3. I have not done this car yet, but it has the fitment sticker already. Thank you for that. But today's the day I officially work on your car. We're gonna do maintenance on this car. Uh, can I see your system? Let's see. Oh, for the Tesla, I'm done. I already fit the rear suspension. We'll go through that later, real quick. This is Imran's system. The only gri I saw this before already, but my only gripe is, please show the damn <laughs> valve block, bro. So anyway, we're going to fix that up. So for the Tesla, all the under chassis parts are done. Everything's installed. All the other components, the old components are stripped out, uninstalled. And the only thing we need to do is hose lines and management system. So that's going to be a fun two days to do. So under chassis wise, the car was like a, it's like a Lexus and a BMW at the same time. Uh, but yeah, it was targeted for the American market anyway. So it's like, it's like I'm working on, a, on the rear. It's like I'm working on a Challenger. On the front, it's like I'm working on a Lexus IS350. So 
It's not that difficult. Difficulty scale will be probably 5 out of 10. It's tedious work because, you know, you have to be careful, and, but it's easy enough. Everything's loose enough so for you to work on it. So it's like they really designed the car to be a bit... They allow it to be modified in a way. So rear suspension's done. It's easy, the easy work. Done, 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 done. But that's my agenda for today. Let's actually fix up Iman, I Imran's car. Okay. So, uh, update for the Tesla. We are technically done with the electrical wiring and hose lines. I have mocked up the system. This doesn't have any wood panel yet, but all of the hose lines are routed and trimmed, semi-trimmed. It's trimmed enough to be able to be trimmed down again. Exhaust port is there already. Compressor wire is already there as well. Socket's there. The socket of the system is there as well, see? With some slack. So yeah, this is where it'll be. And then there's a cover on top. That will just cover it up nicely. So this is very satisfying for me. <laughs> and I also asked permission to the client, CK. I made an incision. I made a pocket here so that I could just hide the hose lines instead of just like draping over. Made it clean. Sorry, my shadow's on the way. All right, so anyway, I have guests. Hello, guys. Hello. Edry and Sam. We are going to do some maintenance work on their cars. We have visitors. So this is going to be the intermission. Last night, I was visited by Imran. Today, I'm visited by my previous work. So let's actually give them a quick service. This has a leak on the front left. Should be quick. And for this one, there's no leaks, but we want to lower the car totally. So let's drop it another one inch down. And then, yeah, join me as I service the previous cars I built here. Okay. Sam, do the honors slowly but surely. We dropped it by 25 millimeters, an inch. Go, drop it. Drop it. Yeah. Air out. All the way. Uh, I guess, yeah. You can do the rears first, carefully. Yeah. Go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. It's still pressure. Ah, it got lower, yeah, for sure. Let's go to the front. Drop the fronts. Yeah, you're far away. Keep going. Yeah, those are just tires. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> keep going. Yeah, keep going. Those are just tires, man. It's not even the fenders. Are you out? Pull out? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Congratulations. If you go 16s, your fender to lip. Nice. <laughs> Definitely a lot lower now. Yes. All right. He is running 15s, okay? So this is pretty fucking low for 15s. I think your mud guard's on the floor already. Yeah. You can go out and check. <laughs> so low now. <laughs> Look at the mud guards on the front. Yeah. <laughs> it's touching, right? Yeah. The mud guards. There we go. Ta da! Alright, back to the Tesla. I'm actually doing the interior panels. I want you to see the nerve wracking moment of doing the interior panels of the Tesla. So I already removed this trim. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a lot of effort to remove this trim. And let's see, it's too wobbly, it's so wobbly. I have to be careful. Tesla update. I am all dressed up. Today's done. Everything's done. Wiring system is done. Uh, put back all the panels on the front side. I have not put back the back seat, nor the trunk trims but everything's already mocked up everything worked I will take a leak test value and tomorrow we will continue the job just putting down the car so that it's safe on the lowest possible so the only thing you need to do for this side is the back seat 
the only thing you need to do for this is that trim panel there and I just connected everything loosely and yeah tomorrow's another day these are the panels that needs to be done needs to be installed and those are the personal belongings of the owner we are done for now I'm gonna turn off the breaker tomorrow let's finish the car <laughs> yeah we're gonna finish the car now tomorrow it's 11 p.m. it's a Sunday but you know I made most of my time here but the car's done just have to put it on the floor, test drive it, and yeah, all good. See you tomorrow. Good morning, next day. Just wanna film this because I'm driving in Singapore. Right hand drive, <laughs> it's so fucking weird. So we're running some errands for Yip. We're gonna drop the Lexus, the Alteza, to the workshop, to a workshop rather. And we'll continue the build for the Tesla later. I dropped the car. <laughs> it's too low. The car's too low, boys. There's the front right now. Our height with the faint max is 69.2. Previous height was 71.5, so we need to increase the colors on this side. And we are, yeah, <laughs> we need to raise that up by a good inch. 11 cm, 13.5 cm there, so. We need to increase it by 25 millimeters, which is an inch. Almost an inch. The rears are really low as well, we're talking. So, yeah, that's good and all, but it's not going to be practical for the owner. So, you might want to give him a good starting point first. So, we'll do the layout first. We have to put this in a wooden panel now. So, that's what we're going to do. The wood panel came in. Let's do that. Let's finish this car. So guys, the car is done. The car is complete and we're ready. I'll have to put the plate number later for the testing. I finished everything. I've adjusted everything. I also did a small leak test a while ago last night. The leak test was successful. No leaks. But I had to do the layout. But now, we are going to... I'm gonna put this guy, this microphone here. Okay, we're gonna have to test drive the car this time. The system is done. I don't know if I show this to you, but here it is. Alright. Let's drop the car real quick. Ooh, that's very satisfying. <laughs> Or laying frame actually. The car is so low, it's on stock wheels and everything, you know? First Tesla, guys! Thumbnail, thumbnail, thumbnail. Ooh, first Tesla! <laughs> it's my eighth car here in Singapore. <laughs> I've been doing cars so much. See? It's actually folding the mud guard. It's so low, it's gonna scra it's scraping actually. <laughs> Let's go! Alright, you need, you need some flashy wheel on this. Black wheels will not work. It's just too dull for me. Anyway, we're gonna move this tray out. I'm, I want some pictures of this car. So far, so good. Let's actually drive it later. Interested to how the Tesla will drive? But for now, Woo! First Tesla, brothers! Okay, I'm gonna clean up, and then I'm gonna eat. Let's drive the car later! I'm alone in the shop, sorry. So, I, this is what I like, why I work at evening time here in Singapore. Because the shop is... I'm alone with the shop, you know? Woo! For now... Yeah, let's proceed. There we go. Yeah, first first drive in the Tesla. Yeah. How's the regenerative braking? Do you hate it? Oh I, my, I mean, we had traveled like 10 meters, so we gotta I mean, give it a bit. I hated it a while ago. It's like someone's pressing the brakes for you. 
Well, yeah, it's weird, but it's like the Prius. It's yeah. the same as the Prius. Is this good for you? Could could do a bit of uh, soften that. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll test it. All right, this is a good baseline for now. Yeah. I mean, for me, for a baseline like this, it's already good for me. Like I could just leave it like this, but I could fine tune it better. I think it's about it's about how it rides on the highway, mm -hmm. especially when the car is quite heavy. We need exactly. To test exactly how um, it handles the Correct. uneven bumps. It's when you're actually speeding that you have to tune. The, that's when the actual no, tune comes it's in. It's not about speed, but it's about um, how stable it is. How stable it is. Accepting highway, multiple bumps. Yeah. Highway speeds because how it, the car loads and everything. We need, we need to know how it handles it. So far, the rebound's not that bad. It's like one and a half oscillation. Yeah. So the quiet. Could, the, the front is softer than the rear. Yeah, you're right. So maybe That's we'll good just, input. This is my first time using a Tesla supercharger. Oh, it's your first time as well. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how to fucking charge a Tesla. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. And how long will it take? Oh. <laughs> maybe 30 minutes, like half charge is good enough, right? No, I don't think 30 minutes will get it more than 30%. Like so we're like 10 minutes. Let's see. <laughs> Wait, where is the hole? It's here. I think you do. You, you click this. Oh, oh, oh. No, I mean, you, you like literally click it. I have to, I have to tap it, right? Do, do you tap it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. Look at that. Oh my god. That's so cool. <laughs> so, 93%. We started at 22. And it's been less than an hour. Yeah, That's that was fast. quick, yeah. Told you, a trip to the convenience store would have been half the battery. <laughs> so cool. Alright, so after tuning the Tesla with Yip, I also tuned it a while. Actually drove the car around. CK, hope you don't mind, I tuned it myself. Yip was busy, so I went away. I went ahead and tuned the car for you. Thoughts about the car, so I need to change the bags on the rear. The rear bags are too small for the weight of the car but it does the job now but I would want something stronger in the rear so I'm having my supplier send me a new set of bags on the rear side the front is perfect no problem we can lift the car high up no problem so let's actually go to the app let's go have a quick discussion on this this is my full review for the car so this thing rips ass really fucking fast high torque you know and it's pretty balanced all of that battery weight underneath was really good okay so let's actually lift the car up in the front. I'm too far away. There we go. Front lift is amazing. I could actually extend the collars more to give more lift, but we're almost at five fingers. Okay, so this is actually really good. We're not even max pressure yet. So I'll go back to you later. Okay, so for the rears, I would want another extra inch. I don't know if you can see it, but the rears are lower by an inch than the front. The reason why is because of the airbags that I was talking about a while ago. So my supplier and I already had a meeting a while ago, uh, this afternoon, and we will be changing the airbags in the rear. Uh, it will be at their cost, as courtesy to the first Tesla build that we did together. And the manufacturer is actually really attentive. So thank you so much to you guys if you're watching this. I appreciate the help on Fitment Engineering's personal product. So for now, I'm pretty much done with the car. Okay, I'll probably shoot some final thoughts with Yip when we are filming together. But for now, this is the test drive. Actually, we'll lift the front real quick. So this is the front lift so far with all the pressure in. So we have five fingers, no problem. I could lift this again more, but before I touch the fronts again, I'll, I'll want to lift the rears. Okay, what else? Yeah, yeah, that's about it. Okay, let's actually drop the car. I think this will be a bit uh, loud. These mud guards are already touching the floor, as I've told you a while ago. Sorry, or in the previous part of this video. So, yeah. And, of course, we are talking new wheels so yeah it's a pleasure to drive around singapore that's something that i'm really happy about but for now let's actually end the video and on a positive note 
What I want to say is I'm not done with the car yet. I have things to do, unfinished business. It is my first, first Tesla build. So I was expecting, I mean, it's a bonus already that I was able to finish the car without any hiccups. But this is just me nitpicking. The kit worked well, but I want to improve my kit. So I'm having my supplier and my manufacturer <coughs> fix up the issues for me. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, that's my honest opinion about it. Uh, electrical wise, I did my I did my part on wiring up the car as clean as possible, the layout. I'm pretty happy and satisfied with the layout of the car overall. So this is really satisfying for me. Yeah. Okay. For the front side of the car, good as well. But for the rears, has to be revisited. But that's it. If I'm not gonna be, a, be able to end this video with Yip, this is gonna be the last part you'll see. First bag Tesla complete. Let's go home.